Let us start with a quote by Tony Robbins. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. I remember struggling um, to write my books, but you know, once I committed to consistency, even on the toughest of days, I saw remarkable changes. Even, you know, sometimes it's hard to continue on something that you have planned, you know, something that you want to do. And so sometimes we will feel discouraged and we may want to stop, but I pull through. You know. So the first segment, why consistency matters. Do you want to share on that? Well, why consistency <laughs> matters? Well, why consistency matters is because when you're consistent in something, it will produce fruit right. at the end of it. Right, right. So if you're consistently not doing something, then the fruit of that will be that you won't be achieving anything. Right, right. Whereas if you're consistently doing something, then no matter how small, they will be improving. Just as I said, you push through the book yes, and right. you're able to know how that on Amazon, by the way, a few right. of them, yes, them yes. So <laughs> consistency is always, it has to do with something that you, you continue, you don't, you don't stop. Right. You, you, you know, you don't pause, but you know, you push out your entire effort on that thing. So you, at the end, you will be successful. So here, um, cons consistency is crucial because it leads to gradual progress and uh, eventually success. It's like planting a seed, planting of seeds and watering them regularly over time. You'll have to, you will have a flourishing garden. So it's, it's like planting a seed, you know, never giving up on that plant because at the end, maybe in your mind, you, 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 you may have uh, that picture of how that plant will look. So you will continuously water that plant, you know, that seed, giving it the necessary, you know, uh, nourishment, nourishment and, and so forth in order for it to, be, it to flourish, you know. And when it flourishes, you know, you will get fruit, you will benefit from that. So that would be the success part of it now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, so the compound effect explains how small consistent actions can result in significant outcomes consider a musician who practices daily each session builds on the last leading a mastery over time so think of an athlete and entrepreneurs who who did not stop when it comes on to consistency so there are some successful people who I, I'm not sure you know them, you know, like... Michael Jordan? Well, well yes, yes. Because yes. <laughs> he would have done, he, he, you know, he never used to, he wasn't that good at shots in the beginning, he used to miss a lot. So I think he said he did like 10,000 shots or something like that till he, you know, can consistently do it. Not a basketball players, the pros, they... No matter how good they are, they still are practicing a lot. Right. I know right. you see them practicing. Self it just look easy. It yeah, just make it look yeah, easy because yeah. of that amount of work. Yeah. So consistency has to do with progress. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, you never stop. You just keep going because you know, in life, we, we, whenever we are, we believe that we are good at something, and sometimes we fail at that thing, and you know, sometimes we want to stop. But sometimes...